Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com on Etsy, ERWplans.etsy.com, on Instagram, ERW underscore plans, and on Patreon, patreon.com slash ERWplans. Today, we're going to talk about the best highlighters to use in your passion planner. Uh, last year, I did a test where we tested 75 different pens to determine which pens would be best for your passion planner. This year, I am testing over 25 different highlighters to determine which is best for your passion planner. Um, first, we did a test to see which would fit widthwise in a medium planner and how, you, how well you'd be able to see the colors underneath when you use them over the timeline. We also tested to see how well you can read under the uh, text when highlighted. Then finally, the final test was the same as the pen test we did last year, where I wrote out the names of all the pens and then highlighted over them to determine which ones bleed, which ones smudge, which ones just ghost, and which ones pretty much obscure the text altogether. And after putting them through some substantial tests, here are the results. Of the 25 different pens tested, not surprisingly, the Zebra Mild Liner ended up being the highlighter of choice for a passion planner. The Zebra Mild, Mild Liner highlights almost exactly the width of the space that you're using. It colors in nicely over the, both the gray blocks and over your text without um, obscuring the text underneath, but while still allowing you to see for color coding purposes. They're also relatively inexpensive. In fact, if you buy them in the 25 pack, they're generally cheaper than the 12 pack of Passion Planner markers. For least expensive, we had a tie between the Donga Miffy Twin Underliner and the Sharpie Liquid Highlighter. Um, the Sharpie Liquid Highlighter is actually a bit more liquid than I would usually use in any kind of planner, but Surprisingly, the Sharpie didn't actually bleed through or even ghost despite being rather liquidy. And it's something you can pick up in even a grocery store. Um, the Donna Miffy is actually cheaper than the Sharpie. It was about a dollar, um, but you do have to get it through jet pens. The thing that's really cool, however, is that it has a dual tip just like your mild liner does. So you can use it for wide lining and also use it to color in or do fine lining. For the best color payoff overall, there was also a tie between the Sakura line marker and the Pilot Spotlighter. The biggest difference between these two is that the Sakura marker has an incredibly good color payoff and has a variety of colors. The Pilot Spotliner comes in a two-tone highlighter, so you get two highlighters, two different colors for the price of one. But there's a, a you get two highlighters for the price of one, but there's fewer color choices overall. However, you get a really nice color payoff that's bright and stands out. It also doesn't bleed or ghost. So, and it doesn't smudge the text on there. The best for overall for multi-use is going to be the three-way beetle tip. This one allows you to do a thick line for highlighting text or highlighting days of the week. It also allows you to use the smaller end to do finer writing. And then you can use the two tips to go right across like that 
and then use your fine line tip to block off half hour spaces in your passion planner. This was the only highlighter that perfectly outlined like that in a single stroke. Honorable mention had to go, of course, to the Tombow Mono Highlighter. I love Tombow products, and the Mono Highlighter was fantastic at highlighting. It didn't have the color payoff of some of the other highlighters. It's not wide enough to fully take up the space on a medium passion planner and is a little too wide for the spaces on the small passion planner. But overall, it gets the job done and there is a ton of color choices, though not as many color choices as the mild liner. Now on to the worst highlighters for your passion planner. In the number one spot, we have the Zebra Kira Rich Glitter Highlighter. I was pretty excited about a highlighter that has glitter in it, which seemed after a while to work pretty well. But initially, the glitter would just come out in a giant glob and it's so liquidy, it would just bleed right through the paper, as you can see here. The drying time is forever and over and it definitely smeared our ink. So this might work for highlighting a book, but definitely not for highlighting your handwriting and definitely not for pages with the same type of paper as the Passion Planner. Next on the list of worst passion or worst highlighters for the Passion Planner was a surprise because this is really popular in the planner community, but it's going to be the Stabilo Boss Original Highlighter. In addition to being a little too wide and just a little awkward to handle because of the shape, it is really liquidy. It really smeared the ink when I used it. And as you can see, there's some serious bleed through by the time it dries. I found after using it several times that there's a bit of a learning curve with this highlighter. And if you can get to the point where you're being very gentle with how you use it, generally you can avoid the bleed through. But as you can see, even there, we get the weird liquidy globules. So overall, this is gonna be my second least recommended highlighter in your passion planner. It just takes too much time to get used to and it smears all of your ink if you highlight over any writing. Third was the Zebra Just Fit Highlighter. This one was a double ended and I was really excited about it. But the tip here is exceptionally flexible on the wide one. So it was a little bit harder to control. We also have the other end, which worked really well for kind of scribbling, but it ghosted and it caused our ink to smear even after it dried. We tested every single one of these highlighters with using a Micron, which dries really quickly and generally doesn't smear even under Tombow markers. So the fact that this smeared even the dried ink was really upsetting and I just can't recommend this one. Next on the do not use list is going to be the Platinum Preppy. I love Platinum Preppy pens. And this one works the same way with an ink cartridge that you have to put into the pen and screw in in order to, and push down to get the ink flowing. But once the ink is flowing, it has a really little payoff and there's a good amount of bleed through because it's really liquidy in the front and end and then just kind of meh color. It didn't smear my ink, but it also doesn't show up very well. I feel like if you need to highlight some kind of document and you don't want it to show up on a scan, the Platinum Preppy would work great. But otherwise, I, I definitely would not recommend using this in your passion planner. The last one on my do not use list is also going to be pretty controversial because it's really popular in the planner community. And that is the Pilot Friction Pen Highlighter. It smears. It smears pretty bad, actually. Um, the good thing is you don't get bleed through on it, as you can see here. We didn't get bleed through on it, but the 
The thing that bothers me is that in addition to smearing, you, when you go to erase it, it will also erase any kind of text that you have underneath, even if it's not a friction pen. So, and the, like any of the other friction products, the er magically erasing function, it's because of the heat that's generated when you're rubbing the eraser end on the paper. That means that if you leave your planner in a hot car or in a warm room or, or using it outside and it gets pretty warm, your, your highlighting is going to disappear. Now I've heard that if you take a page or a planner that you've used any kind of friction product on, where the product has disappeared because of heat, you can put it in your freezer for like an hour and it will come back. Generally, freezers are not the best place for paper. Um, it can get, you know, you can basically get some frost on there if you leave it too long. So I'm not a big fan of this. And so for that reason, I'm just not going to recommend this friction at all. Also, I was kind of disappointed in the color payoff on this one. I tried other um, purple highlighters. This one is the Mark Plus Beetle Highlighter. And as you can see, other purple highlighters, purple payoff is just fine. But the color and the friction highlighter, it's just kind of more gray. So I'm putting that as the bottom of the five plant, uh, I'm putting that as the bottom of the five highlighters I wouldn't ever use in my passion planner. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, uh, share with your friends, and leave a comment. Let me know if there's a highlighter that I did not test, or feel free to defend your favorite highlighter if it's one that I wouldn't recommend. Um, we go live every Wednesday, so, uh, usually at 7 a.m. Sometimes life happens and we go live a little late, in which case, please subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications every time that we, a new video is uploaded. Um, if you want to see the full list of the highlighters that we tested out and see the results of the test, make sure you become a patron. Uh, that's patreon.com slash ERW plans. You can see the full list of highlighters, a link on where to buy every single highlighter we tested so you can run your own test. And of course, you'll see more mini videos on that site. Also, every patron is helping to support continued videos on this YouTube channel. Once again, thanks so much for watching and stick around for the next video.